Uh, how you doing today? I'm good. How you doing? Good. What's your name? My name's Eric. Okay. Um, uh, are you from LA originally or from somewhere else? I'm from Milwaukee originally. Where? Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Oh, okay. Right. Um, what brought you to LA? The weather. Okay. Uh, I couldn't be in the cold weather much longer. And it's where my pops grew up, rest in peace. So I came out and checked it out. And ended up, you know, with a family and stuff like that. And stayed here ever since. How long you been here? And how, like how many years? 12. 12 years? Okay. Yeah. Um, were you already like um, in the situation like being homeless? Before? Absolutely not. Yeah. Uh, I was doing, I, I've been up and down pretty much the whole time. Like uh, I was waiting on like, section eight and then I finally just got it. But I'm still like in the process of doing all that. Yeah. But um, yeah, I was just in and out of the streets basically for the last eight years. Yeah. So yeah, that's about it. Like, what? Um, how did you get in this situation when it comes to um, lack of lack of uh, organization and pretty much reaching my hand out to help when I couldn't be able, barely able to help myself. I had like four people like in the streets that was living with me since pretty much I've been out here. I got to the first year and I like, opened my doors and eventually I was in trouble with financing and then our previous relationship didn't work out and then I was just like, just barely getting my rent and then I, I just screwed it off, you know? I yeah. Just, kind of lived a fast life in the streets and still kind of do it in between doing that, you know, still getting out of like the, being in the streets when I don't need to be to yeah. deal, you know what I mean? So. This is stuff. What I, um, what I, what I, what, I, what is your plan right now? Like, what do you have in mind? Get, to get, get housing and nurse myself back to health because uh, I really should be getting disability. Yeah. Because I got hit by a car and uh, shattered my shoulder. It was a hit and run, and I haven't received any payment from it. And really, just grief. Like, um, I was kicked out of the hospital that I was at. Um, they said I didn't have insurance, which I did. Yeah. And it's just been an anxiety to try and sue a hospital in case there's a pre like another health problem. I don't want them to like you know give me the wrong vaccine or something. You know what I'm saying? So I just kind of have a little anxiety about doing anything in terms of like suing them for yeah. being messed up to me and kicking me out after hit and run. You know, was, I got four staples in my head. Yeah. I got my shoulder sh shattered. My legs were uh, just all bruised. You know, I was getting, got hit going like 40 miles per hour. So wow. Yeah. You, do you think it made things worse um, on you too when it comes to working and because you couldn't work, you were absolutely you were sick. That was probably the biggest, the biggest uh, thing I could do is just like, like make a little bit of money every day just with what I could work on. And like the first three weeks that I got hit, I couldn't do anything. Like, yeah. I, I was like in the streets at the time too, so like I was just laid out in my tent for three weeks like pretty much unfunctionable and relying on anybody to help me yeah because the hospital wasn't about to help me yeah so do you just messed up do you guys get help from the city of la yeah yes yes we do we get help but okay. um, i mean now we get help because of Gar uh, what happened with garcetti garcetti promised that uh he'd have everybody off the streets you know mm -hmm. and that didn't happen in the time period that he said so now, like, the new mayor that they just appointed called, called uh, for a state of emergency due to the homeless crisis in L.A. Okay. And basically is saying, like, we're going to get everybody off the streets and into housing, which is long overdue since, like, the mid-'80s here. That's what I was told. Like, yeah. it's been a pretty big issue since the mid-'80s. But, um, I mean, Garcetti saying all that was good because it did provide for housing for a lot of people so far. But, you know, there's a wait list. I'm sure there's pick and choosing. Yeah. There's clashes in the schedule scheduling like for me like there's several times like uh, a group an organization said they were going to give me housing and they missed the meeting twice really yes and i have that documented and i actually just changed organizations i went to a different one yeah. and they've been doing all right um i mean they, they got they got me housing but uh in essence i think they could be i think like they should improve on like having people sit, like meet people's special needs in terms of mental health like my whole thing is this organization and like like if you if your phone's not charged you're not gonna be on time you know what i mean they, they they're for a while there's an independent group out here that was coming through with charging stations like it seems basic but it is and it's one of the basic necessities that you don't have access to and out here they took away all the electrical outlets mm. like pretty much because it's being like people are just posting up there you know and like doing stuff that's probably not appropriate for business uh, in one way shape or form where they get kicked out and then they just eventually just cut off the power so you know like phones 
phones are important because the whole world functions on phones and a lot and still the people I know like that are don't have access to it half of them are in the streets because of that yeah and it's like now there needs to be like at least a, a library to go to that's open you know past five o'clock or something like that because you know your phone only can charge for so long you know and getting stuff done but I think there's enough resources if yeah. the person really is determined to has a will but due to um, mental health and you know um, drug addiction things of this nature like it's gonna be harder for somebody to get there on time and get their appointments done. Like, I think they should they should drive through and if there's somebody that they know that's missed the last two meetings or they missed the, they messed up whatever it may be that they it becomes a collaboration. Yeah. And if somebody doesn't want help, then they should also know that too. If yeah. someone's just like I don't want help, then mark it down. Be like, okay, this person doesn't want help, but you know, eventually they're gonna be corralled. Yeah. So like they have to know that too, like the consequence of cause and effect of, of uh, relativity in that, in yeah. that manner as well. Like, you know, if you don't want to go, if you want to be in the streets, there's the, we don't want people in the streets because of real estate, you know, property value, all that. Like, yeah. I, it makes sense to me, but, you know, it's really the will of the person. That, that's that's it, you know. And sometimes these, these places will like, push you off, you know. Yeah. They don't, they, they, it just happens, whether it's prejudice or they don't think you're built for it, they're, yeah. they're, they're wasting their time. Yeah. Because, like, the, I know people that have stepped up to try and get help in that place to help them, you know, and there's some, there's a lot of fraudulent companies out there too, like some, like, some downtown buildings where their offices are at are empty, Yeah. you know what I mean, like, they're making money off that, you know, like, a lot, so, there, I don't know how much is in there now, a number, but I know there's millions, yeah. upon millions of dollars not spent, that was set aside for cleaning up LA, because it needs it, and, um, just a little more compassion, from both sides because like, like some people don't appreciate the help either yeah and it's either you know you, you take it and you try and prosper or you say forget it and you stay in the same vicious cycle that's how i see it yeah and i don't see anybody prospering out here yeah you know I mean? like, yeah so um what was your dream before the whole before this happened like what what were you thinking about doing I owning, a, owning a restaurant oh really like owning a restaurant yeah you know, making like a dispensary out of it like you know what i mean like I mean, have dispensary, have a restaurant, and like, you know, so people get hungry, you know what I mean? Yeah. Eat a little bit more. Yeah. But, um, yeah, that's really what my dream was and is, and have live music there, stuff like that, you yeah. know, just. But you know, it's not too late, right? You can still, late. yeah, your yeah. life can still my, change. I gotta get my stuff together. And yeah. Make sure, like, like I'm ready to go, you know, yeah. and be completely dedicated to it, because I'm not, like, this is something, it is still just a dream, because it's not my, in my reality yet. Yeah. But it's there. It's still, it's still lingering there, you know. Yeah, I you, counted it out. You seem to be a very good guy. Yeah. Um, what are some of the things that people tell you that you wish they knew you before saying it? Like as a homeless person, I know people may say things to you or like certain perspective about. Um, I don't like being called lazy. Huh? Lazy or like 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 a lazy. Oh. I don't like to be called lazy. Yeah, because people think you're homeless, so that means you're lazy. lazy. But there's a lot of people that yeah. I know people that are in the streets because yeah. of trauma in war. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, like they, they don't want to hear. They have to be outside. They can't yeah. be in enclosed areas, and they have money in the bank, more money than the people judging. Yeah, I know people that are working high end, fact, like high end corporations. You know that are yeah. out here, like people that are very capable. That some of those gifted and kind people I've ever met. Yeah, are out here. and I think COVID also helped. COVID, to, yeah, to, I mean, I, I was fortunate enough to get into a building and stay there for a month, and they couldn't kick me out. Hmm. Like, there's loopholes in this, you yeah. know, like, I, when I heard about the COVID, I was scared. Like, I, yeah. you know, I believe, was believing the media, the hype, and, uh, you know, pretty much I just paid for a, month, a month's rent, yeah. and then, I, like, they quarantined us, and they haven't been able to kick me out. Yeah. Because I'm protected till February, yeah. so... And that's how it should, I, I believe that that's how it should be in terms of like the hotels and stuff that have like open rooms, like, let them give you a voucher, you yeah. know what I mean? Like if, they, if they, it's a destruction, it's, it's destructive and like, you know, they're, they're, you're ruining the rooms and stuff. Yeah. Sue them, take them to jail, whatever you need to do. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it's not right. Yeah. Like there should be a mutual respect going on there and that's like, hit, like hit the road, you know? Yeah. Like type shit. Like I don't, I'm sorry for swearing, but yeah, like, no worries. Like hit the like hit the road. Like if, you, if you're not gonna respect, but like someone trying to help you, then like no one's gonna respect you because you're not respecting yourself. Yeah, it's gotta be a two-way street. You know? Yeah. So you think um, 
Um, before before I go, yeah, the, yeah. the last question. What do you have to tell people who are not in your condition right now, like people who are not um, homeless or something? What what's, what advice do you have for them? Don't take for granted the, the simple things. Like yeah. The, the, the access for electricity and water. Yeah. Having your loved ones in a safe area. Like, it's, that's a massive thing. Like, yeah. That's what keeps me in the streets because I have loved ones out here still. You know what I mean? And like, I've always trying to make sure that they're okay no matter what and yeah it, it, it kind of is overwhelming sometimes but yeah. yeah just to make just be happy that you have your loved ones in a in, in a nice safe place and uh, don't take for granted what you got and, and until you got and then until it's gone you won't you really won't appreciate it yeah but don't make sure you don't get to that point because it's not necessary yeah and if you feel like you're getting to that point reach out for help because yeah. there are there are people and places that will, will help you and believe in you you know yeah so like sometimes it's all you, all you need is that little boost, you know. Yeah. sometimes all you need is like that 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 stranger to pick you up or something or someone that you didn't know to, to hey, have a good day. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that and, and that goes a far way with yeah. the streets. It goes that goes so far that you don't even know like people, yeah. people that believe in you, you know. That's it. All right, thank you so yeah, much. I sure, really man. appreciate you. Yeah, no problem. Um, I promise you, so I'm gonna okay. do that. Cool, I'm going to I'm going to come back from Walgreens because I promise you guys to bring here some socks. Oh cool. Once I do that, I will I'll I'll tell you if you want to know that. Yeah, yeah.